Hello, everybody. Um, obviously, a pretty busy day for us today. And um, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank Nathan Horton uh, for his time here, for the unfortunate uh, events that that uh, led to all this and his injuries and and all that. He he tried his best, but uh, you know, he's he's in a situation right now where. There's a good chance that he might never play again, and uh, this deal's all about financials for us. Um, we made a decision when Nathan Horton came here and had uh, several exclusions um, if, if we wanted to insure him. We decided not to because we knew that there was only going to be a second half of the first year played. And uh, before we could revisit the decision for the second season here, he was injured again. So um, we, uh, we didn't have an insurance on Nathan Horton. So this deal, uh, we get a player, Dayton David Clarkson, who we, we believe fits our needs very well, fits um, our identity and um, many of the quali uh, qualities that we believe in in Columbus and with the Blue Jackets, what we're looking for. And, um, and with Nathan Horton, there was a possibility that we would have been um, paying $26 million for the next five years for him to sit in the stands. So we feel that this is, this is a uh, very important financial de decision for us. It gives us flexibility, uh, gives us a player that we believe in, and, uh, and we're excited about it. Remember, this is not your typical trade. Can you just speak to the process, how this came along, how long it took to to come together, how long you've been talking with the Leafs or maybe even other teams? Um, well, I, I'll let the, let the Leafs speak on their behalf of, of, of why this deal makes sense for them. I think it's a win-win situation for both clubs and and um, that's why it was, it was done. Uh, we've been throwing this idea around for a little bit and then we finally uh, started talking about it and, and um, we Got got it done fairly quickly after we we talked about it a little more and, and agreed on it and and uh, everything accelerated today. So um, I think we introduced the idea maybe a week ago. You've spoken about wanting to have a a uh, top six, top nine type player that Horton was to be. Is Clarkson that guy? Can he be that guy again? Do you feel like you have filled the the spot that Horton was expected to fill when you signed him? Uh, well, David Clarkson was a 30-goal scorer in his best year in, in uh, New Jersey. Um, whether he can be get back for the, to that, nobody has that crystal ball, but he's been to the Stanley Cup Finals. He's played for a, for a winner in New Jersey for many years, and uh, he's a character player. He's a, he's a guy that competes hard, and, and uh, he's a heart and soul type of player, and, and um, that's why we're excited to have David. And he'll he'll fit our needs and our group perfectly. Each of these players had some sort of a modified no trade in their contracts. Did did Horton approve this? Have to approve this? And same with Clarkson. Did Clarkson agree to come to yes, Columbus? Yes, both both had to approve. Did you talk to David? Yes, I did. Yeah, he's very excited about the opportunity, but you'll get a good chance to talk to him personally. So I'll let him talk about that. For this deal, you said that financially made a lot of sense for both clubs. Before this idea kicked up about a week ago, you said, did you spend extensive time watching David, following David? Was this a hockey thing that the financials also made sense, or did the financial thing kind of kick up the other side of it? Well, if, if, you, uh, if you look at David Clarkson's year in, in Toronto, or, or the years in Toronto, obviously uh, he hasn't been at his best. There's, it's, it's no secret. I mean, I, I don't think that this deal was done or, or our decision that David Clarkson fits our group of guys. I don't think it was made based on uh, watching him play recently, but I've, I remember watching David Clarkson in Kitchener, and that's a long time ago, obviously, but like I said, he's, he scored 30 goals for the, uh, for, for the uh, <clears throat> New Jersey Devils and, and has had many successful years with that organization, and, and things didn't work out for him uh, in Toronto, and, and that happens for you know, a lot of different players in this league and a lot, a lot of very good players too where they have some off years or down years or just it's not a fit and, you know, um, you can you can look at the recent past of, of our club. I'm not going to name any names. I'm sure you guys can 
can think of it. it. It has happened to some very good players where they can, you know, not be successful in that organization, go somewhere else, and have great success. That's that's hockey. That's sports. In the summer of 2013, when you signed Horton, that came together, and I don't think either party looked anywhere else. But if you had not gotten Horton, can you remember back to that summer? Was Clarkson on your short list? He was a free agent that that same year. Would you have gone in that direction if Horton had gone somewhere else? We had identified him as a, as a potential target. Absolutely, we liked the way he plays, and we liked the way he played back then. And, and uh, we think he can get back to that game. Like I said, he hasn't. He, I think he'd be the first guy to admit that it hasn't been the greatest two years of his career in Toronto. And and now we're going to get him into a different situation with a different group of guys. And we believe in him, and, and we we hope and, and believe that he's going to get his, his game back back to where it was before. Have you had any chance to talk to Todd Richards yet about where David might slot in on this current roster, where he might fit in on this team? Yeah, I have. I think we have a uh, hole, like like uh, Aaron here said, that you know, since Nathan's been hurt and hasn't been able to play, we've had a hole on that right side, and and he fits in perfectly on that. And he, he plays Blue Jackets hockey. Does this impact now what you do between now and Monday, three? Do you call off something that may have been in the works, or perhaps look in a direction you weren't looking? <coughs> Before? Yeah, obviously we now have a piece of the, the puzzle in place that, that we know now that it, it's going to be there and we know the, the certainty of it and, and um, we're going to have to plan every move accordingly now with, the, with this in place. So, yeah, I don't know, every, every move affects the next. I suspect Clarkson will be here for Saturday's game against the Devils, of course? Well, we've, we, we've got some immigration issues to handle, but we're hoping that that's going to take place uh, in short order here, and hopefully we'll have him here uh, tomorrow. <clears throat>